just do a first gun disarm. So he's just going to have the weapon here uh, pointed at my midsection. Okay? I don't want to do this because he can see it. Okay? I don't want to do this because he can see it. Okay? What I want to do is just like I'm shaking hands. Okay? So the movement is just my hand is going to come up like this. Yeah? And uh, I'm not going to try and obviously threaten or intimidate him in any way. Okay, you know, uh, so I'm trying to bring the hand up underneath, yeah, and you see here, uh, my fingers are in a little V-shaped like this, and I'm just going to cut, uh, cut the weapon like that, okay, and then again, with as little telegraphing as possible, I'm just going to fall forwards, okay, so what I'm trying to do is, once I've got the hand here, I'm just going to push it offline, yeah, and then I'm going to start falling forwards, this will mean I will step, you know, with one of my feet, that's a good thing, okay, and then from here, you know, as I grab the weapon, as I come forwards, I will deliver my strike, okay? And you, you can keep striking, okay? Feel free to keep striking, okay? Also, as I fall, I want to try and pin this against his body, okay? I, I always try and aim for the hip bone, if you see what I mean, okay? So I'm trying to pin it tight against his body, okay? And then, remember, very important part of self-defense, okay? Uh, I can run forwards faster than he can run backwards, okay? Regardless of our level of fitness, unless it's that guy from the Guinness Book of Records. So it looks like I've got a good bit of wall there, so I'm just going to run. Sorry, mate. So, I'm just coming forwards, yeah. So, in an urban environment, yeah, there will hopefully be a pillar or a junction box or a wall or a car or whatever, you know. So, I can bang him up against that. I can keep striking until I feel, you know, he's loose, <laughs> okay? Yeah, I don't want to be grappling with a gun with somebody who's, uh, you know, got their full strength. So, I deliver my strikes, whatever they may happen to be. And then I don't reach round like this. Anybody tell me why I don't reach round like this? Yeah, yeah, because I'll get shot in the hand. <laughs> you know, so I don't want to get shot in the hand, okay? So I come underneath, okay? So you see here, I'll move his hand out just for the purposes of illustration. So I come underneath like this, and I'm cupping the back of the gun like that, okay? So once again, I'm here. I come underneath like this, and I'm grabbing the gun like that. I have a very secure grip, okay? Now, he could, of course, just start striking me if I hadn't been hitting him multiple times already, okay? This is why I don't want to do this until he's stunned, okay? And then from here, this back foot, okay? I'm just going to take this back foot and move it further back, and then I'm going to rip out, okay? And then I want to take a couple of good steps back, okay? So he can't do what I've just done to me, yeah? Point the weapon at him like this, okay, and then give him a command to get done. Everybody okay with that? Yeah, grand, cool. Um, so, uh, well, let's just move back to here and do it again. So, uh, he points the weapon at me. From here, it's a handshake motion, okay? Handshake comes up, move it out of the line, step forwards and grab, okay? And then, as I come in, I'm trying to pin it here and I'm trying to drive him backwards. Let's say I've driven him back to the wall, okay? So then, once I've got him, and I've struck multiple times, I come underneath, yeah, and I rip out, okay? And then I step back, I step back, get into what nice triangle stance like this, and point the weapon at him. That makes sense? Yeah, so, whenever we hold the gun, we hold it like this, okay? We're making like an arrow with our body. My shoulders are square, okay? My hands are forwards like this, okay? I don't need to aim, okay? If my entire body is pointing towards them, yeah, then uh, I don't need to look through the sights. You know, I can just pull the trigger from here if I need to. Everybody get the idea? Right? Yeah, because remember, everything works when you have time and you're not filled with adrenaline. <laughs> okay, yeah. so uh, important point. Oh, final thing for, for all the gun disarms, yeah, uh, whenever you're holding the gun, hold it like this, okay? Uh, if you want to know why, ask anybody who has ever had a gun disarm done on them while their fingers is inside the trigger guard, okay? Yes, <laughs> yeah. uh, you will break a finger, okay? So, for all of these techniques, yeah, the, uh, the index finger is on the outside of the guard. Everybody happy enough with that? Yep. Final thing, uh, for the more advanced students, let's say it's going wrong, okay? Actually, point at me, so here, bang, okay? So, let's say it's gone wrong, okay? This strike was ineffective. He's bigger than me or I did the strike poorly or whatever. I'm in a kind of grappling situation, okay? I want to control him with my elbow, okay? So you see here, I want to be using my elbow to control him. So if we're grappling for the weapon, yeah, I can kind of... Yeah, I can, uh, if worst case scenario, yeah, I might be able to take it to some kind of arm bar, and then from here pull, and take the weapon out of his hands, okay? Or reverse it in, all good, okay? Uh, another one, 
Again, if he has the weapon on me, bam, and I'm here, okay? What I can do is, I can also work against the wrist. So if we came up to here, I can take my elbow and I can push in and down like that, and then try and twist like that. That makes sense, okay? Yeah, so uh, for the advanced students, uh, you want to think about the management of failure, okay? Yeah. So what happens if you screw it up, okay? So have a play with that as well. But say so for everybody else, God is pointing at my midsection, boom, I'm in. I strike, I drive him back, and back, and back into the wall, okay? From here, I try and pin the gun against his head. I keep striking various strikes, all possible, yeah, um, until he's loose, yeah? And then I come underneath, Grab it like so, big step back, rip the weapon out. Step back, step back, nice triangle stance like this, <coughs> put the weapon at him, give him a command. Everybody okay with that? Excellent. So? Oh yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, everybody? 